Hi everybody, I'm Verna Mullen from Stampin' Notes and um, welcome to my studio. It's Monday, February 13th, 2023, almost Valentine's Day. So I hope you have a great Valentine's Day tomorrow. Today I have some beautiful, fun fold uh, springtime cards to share with you. And it feels a little bit like springtime here in Western New York State. Um, I know the maple sap will be running because the days are warm and the nights have been cold. So that'll be fun. There's a local uh, maple tree inn that's fun to go to and we love to visit that. And that'll be starting up. In fact, I think they are open. So welcome. Um, I'm doing things the old fashioned way today. I don't have my live stream programming because uh, I find out that's what was causing the problem of the freezing. Um, the last few weeks so until that's um fixed uh, i'll be um pointing the camera at me to start with and then um twisting it down and sh we'll have the project view that way instead of um being able to switch that automatically hey have you considered getting the starter kit um even if you don't want to be a if you don't want to sell you don't want to be a demonstrator you can get the starter kit and just be a hobby demo and get the uh, discount it's 20% off everything to begin with and it's a great deal right now you pick $175 worth of product and pay only $129 plus you get the free mini Stampin Cotton emboss machine right here this is a little boho blue or you can pick it in white and this opens up and um, just like that so it saves on your counter space and that's a $63 value, so free shipping, a free paper pumpkin, and you get to pick whatever you want for your starter kit. And this is only good for the next couple of weeks. If you don't want the Boho Mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine, you can uh, get $175 worth of product and just spend $99. So that is a super deal. You do have to pay tax but you don't have to pay shipping. So, um, and then you can be in for um, probably about four months and see what it's like. And I would love to have you join my team. I'll put a link so you can sign up under me if you're interested. I'm gonna point the phone down now. Um, if you get seasick, just look away for a minute. And put my um get on my facebook page here and see how that looks and if we need to switch anything around yeah it's so sunny and bright and beautiful here today so um also you can get the free kits for this class um just by placing an order of 35 dollars or more and oops i'm gonna mute myself let's see here uh, mute. Okay. And we want to enlarge that. Okie dokie. So I'm going to, yeah, the phone, the view is backwards. Let me try turning the phone and see if that, nope, that's upside down. Okay, we're going to be backwards with the words today. But you'll be able to see um, the, you'll be able to see how to make the cards. So, and actually, um, I'm going to maybe, let's pull this back over this way. Um, last week's winner for commenting and sharing was Teresa Croat. And I don't know if I'm saying your name right, Teresa, but Teresa, message me with your um address and I will send out uh, the gems for you that you want and if you comment or share this week you will be uh, put in a drawing to win this beautiful balmy blue variegated ribbon it's one of my favorites it is gorgeous just love that ribbon and 
Um, so I'm trying to figure out where to place this so you guys can see better. Okay. And this is the host code you need to use. It is JHY3BJQU. Um, if you want, if you place an order with me to get the kits this week, um, you'll want to use that. So, um, you log in and create your own account and place your order. And then when you sign out, you use this host code right here. And this is good until February 20th. You will get the kits to make two of each of these um, fun fold cards. And if your order is, 30, is $50 or more, you will get, um, in addition to that, you will get a pack of the Milky Dots that um, I'm going to be using today. So um, we'll get started and... We're going to start with this banner card right here. And I'm probably some of you have seen spanner cards. Um, these are kind of cool because uh, there's three parts to it. There's a that part and then there's a middle part here. And then there's the inside part. I want to see if I can see comments. I'm not... Let me... Um, Go back down, get out of that. So I may not be able to see your comments today and I apologize for that, I hope I can. I'm just monkeying with us trying to get it back up here, okay. All right, so um, and I haven't done it this way in quite a while, so forgive me if things are a little wonky. All right, so we're gonna start with this. And we have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And we're gonna fold that in half and burnish it with our bone folder. And I, there it is. I knew I brought one over. Okay, also, um, if you haven't joined my Inking Joy group, that's a free group that anyone can join. It's called Inking Joy Stampers. And there's a little Valentine Day card contest. Um, if you're interested in that, just all you have to do is post a Valentine's Day card that you've made. And um, You'll be in a drawing for a little prize. It's an assortment of the Celebration Designer Series paper. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do for this card is we are going to score it. And I'm bringing my trimmer in. Yeah, I'm not on my, my usual time because uh, my grandson Micah may have his last basketball game today and I have not seen him play yet. So I wanted to make sure I got to see him play. So we're gonna come in at one and a quarter, um, one and a quarter right here. I'm gonna lay that at one and a quarter and I'm gonna start with my blade and I'm gonna cut down to my score mark. Let me move this up so you guys can see it. So I'm just cutting down to that score mark, which is at four and a quarter. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna lay this at one and a quarter. And I'm gonna cut down just like that. Okay, so our card looks like this now. We have our front flap and we have the two sides, just like that. Okay, so, and this is really driving me nuts that everything is backwards. I'm going to take my phone. I hope you don't mind. Hopefully it does. Oops. 
Oops, I just dumped a whole, whole bunch of cards. Okay. I'll pick up my cards here. So we've got our scoring done. All right. And um, the next thing we're going to do is um, we have a piece of designer series paper. And I'm going to say these measurements, but uh, if you want the PDF with all the measurements for all um, these cards, that'll be uh, free when you if you place an order. But I'm going to say them right now so that you have them. So this designer series paper, and this is from the um, Regal Park designer series paper pack. And let me see, this is two and three quarters by four. And we're gonna adhere that on there. I'm just grabbing my tape runner. Like I thought I brought it over here. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so I am just, this is a beautiful designer series paper. It's a floral. And I'm going to put this on the center here, and that'll fit nicely right in the middle, just like that. Then I have two pieces of basic white cardstock, and these are one and an eighth by four and an eighth, and they're going to go on each of these. Actually, I'm not going to put them on yet. Um, I'm just grabbing them here. And then I have two pieces of designer series paper, and this is from that same uh, pack of designer series paper. And these are one by four, and we're gonna layer these onto our um, little basic white pieces right here. So I'm just gonna run some adhesive down side and one thing about this silicone mat you can run your tape runner off onto that mat and it won't stick to it so it leaves about just a little bit of an edge all the way around that we're going to do the same thing with this one Yeah, I love this paper. It comes in a six by six assortment, 48 sheets. Okay, so we're gonna get a piece of, I have a piece of our vellum, our vellum basics, and this is a leafy pattern on it. It's really pretty. And I have a piece of our window sheet. And both of these are one and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to adhere. This isn't going to show. I'm going to adhere my vellum over the window sheet. And I will show you why. I want this to be nice and strong. And hi, Ian. Thank you. Uh, so on this card, where did my card? It probably is one of the things that fell on the floor a minute ago. Yep. So on this card, you can see this is the vellum piece right here. And you can see it's kind of um, not super uh, strong. So I want to adhere that on the window sheet, which I did. And now I'm going to take this. And I'm going to adhere this onto the ends of 
the card, those small flaps, before I put the um, designer series paper on the flaps. So it's going to go, whoops, we'll go in just a little bit and up a little bit. Just like that. And now we're going to take these, and these are going to layer over um, those ends so they don't show. And this is called a spanner card. Um, this particular one um, in, was inspiration from Lisa's stamp studio, but I've seen like uh, Stu Sue uh, Stamp Field do them. I've seen different demonstrators that do them. Okay, so this will adhere over that, just like that. And now we're gonna adhere the other one. I'm not used to working in such a small space, but um, because of the technology issues I've had with Streamlabs and the freezing, we're doing it the old fashioned way today. All right, so we've got our front panel that looks like this and the middle panel here. All right, um, before we get too much farther, I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of basic white on the inside. It's five and a quarter by four. And then I'm going to put two end pieces here. And these are a little shorter than our front ones. These are going to be, let's see, I'll measure them and tell you what they are. Okay, so these are three and seven eighths by one, I believe. Yep. I'm going to go with the stripes here. My honey got me our carnations today, which was nice. I love carnations. They smell good and they last. All right, um, and I'm leaving just a little bit of an edge all the way around. You can see that little bit of white around there. So there's that much. And I have die cut um, some flower stems. I wondered if I brought the dies over here to show you. Yep. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> Let me see if they're sitting out on the cupboard. Hmm. Okay, I'm not seeing them. They might be sitting under something here. Oh, they are. Here they are. So this sentimental park is one of the bundles that goes with this designer series paper. And um, there's these images in the stamp set. These are the dies. And I've used this. They, these are really cool, these sentiment um, tags. But I've used this. And I've cut out um, with that specialty paper the green uh, leaves and the stem. Get in there. Okay, so these dies are called the Sentimental Park dies. And this is the Sentimental Park 
bundle with this stamp set and those dies. And then there is another stamp set and a punch, the Petal Park. This stamp set and this punch are a bundle that are part of that. So, um, so I'm going to show you, uh, Here's that specialty paper, it's, it's like corrugated and it comes in a blue and a just jade and a white and it's in the mini catalog. You can see the little lines on the paper. And I've got two of those and I'm gonna make, I've punched flowers and I've made flowers um, using the Petal Builder Punch, and I'm going to show you right now how to do those flowers. But I wanted to get them done um, just so it wouldn't take up as much time. So to make the flowers, you're going to punch all three blossoms. And then you want to take your blossom and just wrinkle it up. I know that seems a little bit, um, makes, you, makes me feel uneasy, but that's what gives it texture. Okay, you're gonna wrinkle it all up, and then you're gonna open it back up, just like that. You're gonna do the same thing with each of those blossoms. You're going to wrinkle them all up and glue them together and then it gives you a blossom like this. And see how it has texture, lots of texture and um, looks more like a real blossom. And then I just kind of take the center like this and bend it and move it. All right. So we're going to um, glue these onto here. And I'm using our liquid glue. And I'm just going to put some on it like that. And it takes a minute for uh, them to adhere. And I'm just going to leave them sit on the silicone mat for a minute. Everything looks slightly crooked. I think it must be the way my phone is. And I want a little bit of the stem showing, so I'm putting it up kind of high. And you want to get both of your flowers about the same height. All right. So we're going to leave that like that for a minute. I'm going to bring this back in. And I have a little bit of a border and I cut this border with the die um, from the, oh, what is this set? Here's this die in it. It's on the tip of my tongue. And it's in the annual catalog. Um, I'll think of it in a minute, I hope. But anyways, I've used that die to cut this and I'm going to adhere that on just burning a little bit of glue at the top like that. I'm going to open this and I want to put this on the bottom here of this. It just dresses it up a little bit. Okay. All right, so now we're going to come back with these flowers. We're going to add them. And actually, I'm going to put one of the small flowers on the back here to cover that stem. I'm going to move this around. Because it will show on the other side. This side is going to show when you're opening the card. And I need one more of those. And 
And I'm just gonna kind of bend it. I wanna bend it the other way. And put this on the back here. Hi, Missy. Okay. So now these little flowers are gonna go on here like this. And we're gonna adhere them on there with, you need something really strong like your Seal Plus. I'm gonna use some tear and tape. Seal Plus or tear and tape, something that's strong. And we're gonna put the tear and tape on the back of the leaves here. So, and down towards the center. We'll do one there. And I'll try to get that back off before. I need my take your pick tool. We'll lift that back off there like that. there okay so we've got our tape on that one we're going to put tape on this one hi jerry just like that i'm they're sticking to me ah Okay, oops. I love fun fold cards. All right, so these are ready to go on. And we're going to stick them right on here. I'm gonna get that stem down as far as it can go. And this guy here. And our flowers need a center, so we're gonna take one of those. Um, these are the adhesive-backed milky dots. And we're gonna add a center, just like that. Just like that. Okay, so we've got our card going like this. This is a spanner part. Now, on the other card, I have the sentiment up here, and I want to put the sentiment down here and maybe put some butterflies up there. So I'm going to use C. This is from the Sentimental Park. This says best wishes. And I'm gonna use Night of Navy ink. Here it is. I know I love that too, tool too, Missy. My favorite is the the putty end to pick up the gems. Okay, so that says best wishes. And I, well, I think I will add dimensionals to the back of that. And again, this is something you, actually, before I do that, since the ink is out, let's stamp the inside here. And these are, this is, these are more flowers from the uh, Sentimental Park Bundle. And I'm stamping the outline in Night of Navy. I'm just going to put it, oops, sorry, move this down here. I'm going to put it like that. And then there's a more solid image. And I'm going to ink this up in petal pink, which is a coordinating color for 
in this designer series paper. And this will fill those flowers in with beautiful color. Okay, so, and it doesn't, absolutely doesn't have to be exact. So isn't that pretty? It just kind of fills that in nice. And that's the inside of our card. I'm thinking of using this as a wedding, for a wedding, um, I have a friend that got married. And let's just add our sentiment on the front here. Best wishes. Be cute with uh, maybe some twine here on the flowers. It would be cute. So these might be too big. Nope, I think they'll fit. How about four? We'll put four on there. Yeah, Missy, I just ordered an extra one to have, mainly for my classes, for the ladies to use. They're just so handy for a lot of things. Oops. Best wishes. We got a foam sticking out there. All right, so I'm gonna put this across here. That looks pretty even. Yeah, I think I like that better than having it up here. And I have a pack of the brushed brass butterflies. I love these. They're flat and they're fancy. Yeah, I can't remember where I saw that, but it does help to do that. All right, let's put the butterflies, let's put a couple, maybe like that, maybe a third one. Oh, I don't know, maybe like that. So it says best wishes. And then you've got that panel and you have the inside part. So that is card number one. Now, while I'm talking about the Regency Park, I'm gonna tell you girls about my monthly stamp class because this month it features the Regency Park bundle, or the Puddle Park bundle, which is the bundle with the punch. So it is um, this stamp set right here and the Petal Builder punch that I just used that okay and you will also get a free pack of the milky dot adhesive back gems the navy ribbon which i love uh half a pack of the designer series paper there so you will get 24 sheets of that and you have the option to add the stamp set and the punch you will get everything to make eight cards and everything will pre be pre-cut for you I will show you the cards. You're going to make two of each plus the envelopes. And like these frames and the, these will be pre-cut for you. And there's that one. And I'm missing one more. I had a bunch that fell on the floor. Maybe it dropped on the floor. Anyways, there's one more card to the set. So you get enough to make two of each, plus a cute little folio to keep them in. And this is a folio, and it will hold um, eight cards and, or excuse me, four cards and four envelopes. We came unglued here on the side. All right, and then it holds, um, so it'd be a nice gift if you made the cards to give to somebody, and then it ties on the side there. Um, I know, I love the navy ribbon. It's a favorite. Anyway, so if you're interested in that, it's free shipping, a video tutorial, and a PDF tutorial. It is $39. All right, card number two. 
is um, a wonderful card to use designer series paper. And I will get that card and show it to you again. Here it is. So uh, I think I saw Patty Bennett had done these um, quite a while ago, but it's just a wonderful way to show off that designer series paper and use it up. Very easy to make and a lot of fun. So the sentiment and sentiments I've used are from the Country Bouquet stamp set. So I wanted something small to fit on here. Just wanted to say, I love that we are friends. And this should be over a little bit there, but I was I want I wanted it over far enough so that would be covered. And then you can add a piece on the back, um, five and a quarter by four, to write your sentiment. And so let's make that card. So we're gonna start with a piece of, this is that beautiful um, Dandy Designs designer series paper. It's free with a $50 order, or dainty. I think it's dainty, dainty designs. Okay, and um, so the width of this is a little bit, uh, wider. I'm looking for my directions before I tell you wrong. Here we go. And you will get this in your kit um, to make two of these. Okay, it's five and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. So you have to have 12 by 12 designer series paper to make this. Okay, we're going to score this at, in three spots. Let me bring this down so you can see it. Um, we're gonna score at one and three quarters. And you wanna score very lightly when you're scoring your designer series paper. We don't wanna cut it. So the light gray um, blade is a scoring blade. And then we're gonna score it at four and three quarters. very lightly and then we're going to open the arm out on the trimmer and we're going to score it at seven and three quarters i'm going to slide it all the way down here all right and we're going to fold it's like a z fold and we're going to go this way. And then we're going to go this way. All right, so there's our little um, card. Now, um, I had used the other end of this on the other card. Where is that? Right here. So notice that these flowers are going the right way here. And notice that I didn't realize this. These are upside down on this end. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I think what I'll do is just cut a piece of, well, I'm gonna leave it for now because by the time we get the oval frame on there, most of it isn't gonna show. So, um, we have this nice little Z fold here going on. We're gonna take a die cut. We've, I've got a car base, it's five and a half by four and a quarter of rich raspberry. And I'm gonna try putting a ribbon on this uh, card. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the adhesive on the back of this. Okay, and I'm gonna put quite a bit. I'm gonna go across the top here, down at the bottom, across there. And I'm gonna take some of that navy ribbon. My chair is squeaking. Um, probably about 18 inches. You wanna, uh, you don't wanna have to worry about it being too short. 
and I'd rather cut it too long. And it's, this ribbon's really beautiful. It has this beautiful border. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, whoops. I don't want it sticking to that yet. <laughs> okay, I've got it about in half is about right here and I'm gonna put it right across the back. I'm gonna put more um, ribbon on that. Turn it over. And center it on the rich raspberry. So it'll pull, the ribbon will pull the blue. See the blue in here and then there's the rich raspberry. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, I had used the Fitting Florets dies, um, and I die cut a large oval and a frame from the Rich Razzleberry. And these are the dies right here. If you don't have this set, this is like a wonderful set to have because it has these beautiful frames. Um, this one doesn't cut a frame, but it cuts hearts in the shape of an oval. And then it has lots of um, oh, floral shapes and shapes to, uh, to die cut uh, flowers from the stamp set, the fitting, fitting florets. So anyways, I use this one and I use this to get the large oval, if you want the large oval. There's another card where we're gonna use a smaller oval, but all right, so before we um, put this on the card, let's do some stamping. And I have, uh, this is from the Dainty Delight stamp set. That's this one right here that goes with that um, designer series paper. And it has really nice dies to it too. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink this stamp up in Old Olive. And again, if you want the kits for these cards, um, two of each of these cards, so six cards, you just place an order in my online store of $35 or more this week using the host code, and I'll share that host code again at checkout, and I will send you everything, the kits to make um, these cards. These die cuts will be done. You will need your own ink and adhesive and stamp set. And then if your order's $50 or more, I'll send you a package of the Milky ad uh, Adhesive Milky, the Milky um, Adhesive Back Dots. Okay, and I'm using Fresh Freesia Stampin' Right Marker to color in the flowers on this. I'm not gonna color in all the leaves. I'm just coloring the flowers because it adds, it pulls in the raspberry, rich raspberry. All right, I'm, I'm just adding a little bit of color there. And now I'm gonna put this frame on that Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Happy belated birthday. I didn't realize it was your birthday yesterday. I hope you had a great day. It was a beautiful day yesterday. We walked. I walked with my husband to the barn and when once like five o'clock hit it was windy it was wasn't as warm as it had been earlier okay so we're gonna put this frame on and you just want to check the back because the back a bit of the back will show i'll show you what i mean in a minute here i'm gonna move that around a little bit and what's nice about this mat is this glue will dry on here and you just brush it off. This is a great tool to have. All right, so let's bring our card back over here. 
And I'm just gonna bring this ribbon up here like this, because I want it to come, up. I had um, adhered it behind this paper in between the mat and the designer series paper, okay? And I'm gonna just put a little bit of adhesive down right here to hold that in place. And I'm gonna use my, uh, this is gonna go on here like this. And you only wanna put your adhesive on this half of the back, All right? And I'm gonna use liquid glue. And we're gonna just do that half of the oval. All right, and We'll bring it in just a little bit from the edge there. Yeah, that's pretty. And then it will tie on the side here. And let's add a couple butterflies. Right there and a smaller one. I'm gonna close this ink up before I get it on my clothing. All right, and uh, so we're gonna add stamp for you. I should have stamped it before I put it on the card. I'm gonna go ahead and try and, I think I can stamp it okay right now. And I'm using Starry Sky. Starry Sky, where are you? I know I brought it over here. There's a Knight of Navy. Well, maybe I didn't bring it. Let me look over here. I can use the Knight of Navy, but I'm gonna take a look. Oh, I didn't bring it over. Okay, here it is. This is a little bit brighter than the navy. And this stamp is from, these stamps are from the Country Bouquet. This is gonna say for you. All right. And then we're gonna open this and stamp, not here, cause we don't want it to show. We're gonna stamp just wanted to say right here. And again, it's wise to do this before the card is together and I forgot about it. Just wanted to say, and then we're going to stamp. Um, this says, I love that we are friends. So you want to stamp it over far enough. So it's not going to show over here. So I think if I stamp it about right there, that'll be fine. I love that we are friends. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and then um, I have a five, piece that's five and a quarter by four for the back um, where you can write a little note and I'm using the very large stamp from the Dainty Delight stamp set. And I'm gonna ink it up with Old Olive again. And let's put this on here. Isn't that beautiful? That's such a pretty image. And it's a little pale there, but I'm gonna fill it in and probably won't even notice. So again, I'm coming in with a Fresh Freesia Stampin' Write marker. And these small ones here, I'm just using the bullet end. It looks really pretty with a rich raspberry, the fresh freesia. We'll 
do this, the larger, the bullet tip for the larger images. We had fun at our stamping in my studio Saturday. We missed some of you girls that couldn't make it. The next one will be March 11th. And I'm not going to fill in the, the leaves. You could. I kind of like it kind of airy like that. I'm just going to take my Daffodil Delight and do the tips of this. It looks like Queen Anne's Lace to me. All right. So this is going to go on the back of the card. So this is going to go this way and so it will tie just like this. I think I like it better with the ribbon so you can be a little bulkier to mail though. So you could do it, I'll show them both to you, either way, with the ribbon or without it. So um, Margaret and those of you who were on last week and Jerry, um, it's the software that I'm using, my streaming program that was causing the freezing. So I'm not using it today and it's a little, I feel a little out of my element, but little clunky today, but it's okay. It's not freezing. <laughs> All right, so here's the one with the ribbon. And then this one is without the ribbon, and I've got blue gems on it. I think I like the butterflies better, and this, I think, needs to come up here. If I do another card, a little bit. I like the butterflies better than the gems and this is without the ribbon and this is with the rib rib ribbon sorry I can't talk all right so card number three is a card kind of fun with uh, those funny gnomes the new gnome set um oh i want to show you one more here's one more of those designer series par cards with a, a day at the farm uh paper so this is really cool because you can use up um, your designer series paper and you really don't have to put much here. This would be a fun kids card. And on the back, I've just stamped one of the cows and uh, you could, this could be a birthday card or whatever, you know, so this is a great card design to use up your designer series paper. All right, let's go on to card number three. So, um, yeah, it's a cool fold. Fold. Patty Bennett had showed that years, quite a long time ago, and that's where I got that one from. Okay. Um, oh, here's the card. Isn't he, she, this is a she gnome. Isn't she cute? Um, and this is, has a belly band on it. I know belly bands are kind of, either like them or you don't. And this opens like this. So, and this is the Rainy Day Designer Series paper, the specialty paper. Um, it's really cool. It was really kind of bright and cheery and these were gonna be springtime cards, so that's why I used it. So to start with, let's do our gnome and then we'll put the card together. Where is the gnome stamp set? Oh, one more card I wanted to show you with the Regency, the Petal Park bundle. Um, 
This is for a challenge, but I love the colors in this. Pool Party, Just Jade, and the petals. So uh, I love that Petal Builder Punch. Okay. So we have on, again, we're, we have the smaller oval that's die cut from the, um, the framed florets uh, dies. I don't know if that's the right name, something like that. And so we're gonna stamp our gnome on this oval here using Memento Black. And I've gotta get the gnome stamps up. Oh, what did it, oh, no, that's the owls. Well, good grief, what did I do with it? Um, here it is. It's in my pile on the chair. Okay. This is the Friendly Gnomes. Um, has really nice sentiments in it. Oh, have fun at the ball game, Anne. Uh, wishing the most magical of birthdays. Spring is everywhere. I love that. Gnome, sweet gnome. Love you. There's no one better than you. There's a squirrel. A gnome with flowers. A gnome with a heart. There's a gnome home. And this is the gnome that I used. And there's a balloon. So, And then if you have the dies, if you bought the dies, I think they're still available. Uh, I do have the dies, but we don't need to use them today. So we're going to use uh, that cute gnome. And we're going to stamp it in Memento Black ink. There's the ink. I think I'll use the other uh, the other gnome for a change. We'll use the one. Um, how about the one that's just standing there? No, I'm switching back. Here's the, flop, the girl with the braids. Can't make up my mind. Okay, so let's ink that up. And I love that little eye peeking out there. Whoops. All right, so when you're, if you do this card and you're going to put something down here, you want to stamp your gnome as high up as you can on the oval. And I've got her stamped quite a ways up there. I'm going to color that flower in with my Daffodil Delight. Stamp and Write marker. I'm using the Starry Sky to color in the hat, and I'm going to put this on the silicone mat because I don't want it to bleed through onto my desktop here. Okay, I'll grab. This is my old piercing mat. Okay, onward. And I'm using Starry Sky. Is this the light? This is the light. And I'm gonna do the whole hat in the light. Like that. Memento is the best ink to use for your, if you're using Stampin' Blends, because um, it's an alcohol-based marker, 
and the memento will help it not to bleed. All right, so there's the light. I'm gonna grab the dark and just go around it a little bit. And add in a little dark where the markings are. We're like right there, right there. I'm just gonna go around the edge here. Does anybody have special plans for tomorrow? Okay. I'm gonna color. Well, I'm gonna color the face in first. And I'm just using pale petal pink or the lighter petal pink. You could use the ivory or something close to that. I'm grabbing the light pumpkin pie for the collar here. Or yeah, this is the light. And the mittens. And let's do the shoes and pumpkin pie. We'll switch it up from the other card. All right. I'm grabbing Daffodil Delight for her braids. And this is what takes up the most time making this card is the coloring. If you'd like to sit and color, I find it relaxing. If I'm, we'll do these in yellow. And let's do the sweater in Granny Apple Green. Whoops, I'm glad the top was on that. I think this is, is this a light? Nope, this is a dark. And I want the bullet tip because I'm coloring around small images. Well, I missed some hair there. Okay, go back in and get her hair. There, all right, she is ready to go. All right, so let's bring our car base back in and, all right, so this car base is a little bit wider than normal. Um, look at the directions to make sure I get it right and not tell you wrong. So this is five and a half by 11 instead of five and a half by 11 instead of four and a quarter by 11. All right. And um, I have scored this at on the long side at three and a half and seven and three quarters, three and a half and seven three and three quarters. And then I've die cut one end with a scallop contours dies. All right, so we're gonna um, fold this in. And then burnish it. And this is the thick basic white card stock. And again, if you order the kits, this will be pre-cut for you. The scalloped edging will be pre-cut. The designer series paper will be pre-cut. 
finished. All right, so we have a piece of the Rainy Days Designer Series paper. And this is the piece with all the bright flowers and Mango Melody and uh, Crush Curry. And this piece is two and a half by five and a quarter. And it's gonna go right here. It has those umbrellas on the back. All right, and I'm just coming in a little bit from the edge. All right. And then this piece is a little wider, I believe. Let's see, this one is three by five and a quarter, and that's gonna go there. And here's some of that, um, it's got the raindrops on the back and it's raised up. That's why this is a specialty designer series paper. Has embossing on it, whoops. Okay, and that goes on there like that. Now, um, I have a piece of basic white cardstock. Oh, maybe I forgot to cut it. Um, with Cut with one of the decals, um, rectangles, and it's this piece right here. So, I'm gonna cut that really quick. I brought that die over here and to show you girls which one it was. I'm looking for it. it Might have fallen on the floor. All right, I'm gonna grab the deckled rectangles and then um, die cut that. These are really cool. Um, I think it was like the middle one, middle largest one. They're a really neat set to have. I'll bring them over and show them to you. This, the one I had is just a little bit bigger than that. Okay, I hope you're drinking water or juice or something. Oh, here it is, good. Okay, here it is right here. All right, I'm gonna go cut that. And which, um, do, let me know if you guys have the Friendly Gnome stamp set or one of the gnomes. People usually either really like the gnomes or they don't like the gnomes. One or the other. I just think they're cute. Kind of woodlandish. Not kind of, they are woodlandish. So sorry about that. Okay, so we have our deckled rectangle and we are going to um, put a small piece of designer series paper on that and this is two by two and three quarters. It's gonna sit right down here like this. That's the right one, okay. 
these were scraps that I had in there. So this is two and three quarters across, and this is two. And there's more of that embossing on the other side of that. And that's going to sit right down in there like that. Um, now we're going to take the frame and we're just going to adhere this frame on here. Actually, let's put the gnome on first and after we stamp it. So we're going to stamp that with Love You, which is from the gnome stamp set. And again, I'm using Starry Sky. And we want it at the bottom here. Love you. You don't have it, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, it is really cute. Okay, and we're going to load this up with some dimensionals. You see, I've got ink on my fingers. So the basketball game tonight is at the YMCA in Hornell, and this time it's Micah, who is 12, and I haven't seen him play yet, and they might be done after tonight. So heading out to that. We'll get these backings off here. Okay. All right, so the gnome is going to go right about here. And then we're going to glue that frame down around it. And I'm going to use the liquid glue for that. And if you have this frame, one thing you want to do is it, the glue will ooze through these tiny little marks here so you want to I try to keep it towards the inside inside edge going around there and come on there that sits down around that And I'm going to go ahead and add our the little daisies. These are really cute. They come in, they're loose daisy embellishments. These are in the spring mini catalog. And let's just add one here, maybe one there, and about one over there. So we'll take our the putty end of the Take Your Pick tool to pick them up. And just put them where that glue dot dot of glue is, and they will. Or you could use glue dots. Either way. Put that down a little bit. All right. So that's ready to go on the belly band. Let's do the belly band. So we have a piece of mango melody that is one and a quarter by 12 or 11 one and a quarter by 11 grab that this is a color i don't use that much i just don't think about it but it goes really good with this paper So we're going to use this whole strip to make the belly band. All right, we're bringing our card in here. 
I'm just gonna put the belly band down. I'm gonna bring the card in and um, there it is. Lay it down here like this. And you don't want this super tight. So I'm gonna fold it up like that. And then fold this like that. And I'm gonna push that out a little bit. I'm gonna bring in my glue. Put it on one end of this. Like that. And just hold it a minute. And then I have the white ribbon. This is a crinkled white ribbon. I'm gonna make a pass with the seal down the center of the back of the belly band just to hold the ribbon in place while, and I've got a long piece because I wanna wrap it around there twice. All right, and let's see, the bow will be on this side. So I'm gonna, oops, leave about that much going that way, wrap it around. Go like this, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be, it can be kind of haphazard. I kind of like it that way. We'll make our bow. Possibly. <laughs> the ribbon's sticking to my fingers. Come on. There we go. All right, so there's our bow. Pull that down and cut our tails. All right, so now um, on the, whoops. Um, this is gonna be covered up. That little seam because we're gonna adhere this right to that like that so what I'm gonna do is put glue on the belly band a piece of ribbon sticking to me all right <clears throat> and I'm just gonna cover I'm gonna go about like this maybe a little farther there And this is gonna go on here like that. <clears throat> You're looking a little crooked. Okay, let's pull this loop down. All right. So this is gonna have a piece of five and a quarter by four inch designer series paper. And this is some of that coordinating designer series paper playing in the rain. And look how the embossing is on the back here with the rain. And this is gonna sit in the center here. And then I have a piece of three and a quarter by five that is not it. But anyways, there's going to be a piece of white three and a quarter by five inch there. 
and here is our card. Love. Oh, this isn't the one we just did. Let's do the one we just did. Love you. All right, so there is our, there are our three fanciful cards. We've got the gnome. We've got the designer series paper one. And with a ribbon and without. And then we have the band, the spanner card. And I hope you've really en enjoyed this. And, um, I will be back next week at the regular time. So take care and have a great night. Bye now.